is holy. Be careful. <sighs> Please, can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Ah, shut up! How do you do? Here's a tip. Get them drunk and take their money. The minute I take the uniform, Je suis bien a few blocks from the job, they start acting so nice. What does a dried up old hag have to do to get drunk around here? Please, gentlemen, you're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good drunks. The man said it was medical necessity. Mm. Hello, ma'am. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. It's fine. Send me now, You don't talk much, do you? Let me tell you, when the big this come town out, is so bloody boring. I give you one guess where they come Boring. Down. All of you, you're all boring. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among a lot of you. Place used to be sophisticated. <laughs> Stories I heard would make a devil blush. Not anymore. The devil's gone elsewhere. And we're left with the choir masters. And not the fun kind. No, sir. As my nana used to say, nothing new under the sun. Well, that's that, I suppose. I never get bored of this place. You're so right. Uh, so... You know something? <laughs> no! You know nothing. Bunch of ignorami. That's plural for ignoramus. Latin like honeylingus. Also Latin. <laughs> I have an education. Daddy hired a wonderful tutor. Poor fellow, fell in love with my mother, hanged himself. They say hanged, not hung, when it's people. Down here, you say, lynched. <laughs> but you always did mangle the language. God, I am so bored. Bon bar. Someone tried to buy a room with pennies? I'm getting my own place in here. I told you to take it to the words. slums. <laughs> you said it. Uh, I'm so my was God, I am so bloody full. Do you know I burnt my new novel? <laughs> Finished it and burnt it. The novel is dead. Such tripe. I hated my characters. And after I tortured them for 30 pages, even I was losing the will to live. Seems you can never be too careful. Tom? Tom? Where's Tom? The catamite? I'm horrified! Oh. Wanna have a good time? Yeah. I heard they're working on a building in New York over 10 stories. You're shy. That's okay. Who lives in such a thing? Oh. Well, oh. Yes, that's the way. <laughs> Did any of you morons read that last drivel written by Evelyn Miller? My God, but there's a small-minded simpleton. I met him once. Jimmy, did you hear that? I met Evelyn Miller. They used to say at Yale that he has a tiny penis. Oh, don't be shocked. I, mean, I can't say for sure. He wouldn't show me. But, my God, what a bore. Does any man, any 
any man that prefers trees to tits, <laughs> he gets what he deserves, and that's a fact. Some of these people nowadays, they don't, they don't know how to behave. One man tried to shoot a bomb. I mean, Evelyn Miller. God, he's even got a woman's name, poor bugger. What is it about second sons born into privilege? <laughs> Ooh, I'm bored of being a professor. I want to stare at trees. You're a moron, my friend. <sighs> Yale is well shot of him. And, and what about that other fellow, the, the Harold McDougal, the, the, the anthropologist? My cousin says he's an even bigger moron and a drug addict. Oh, are any of you drug addicts? <sighs> I wish I knew more. Can't get enough of this stuff. <laughs> No, oh, I simply must have some. I bet none of you bores have any. And if you did, I bet none of you would share. What would you cook again today? Miss Powell, please, whatever you need, just ask. It's Miss Powell, and I need some <laughs> bloody <laughs> cocaine. Well, I can't help you there. Morning to you. Jimmy! Is Jimmy here? Have you seen Jimmy, tough guy? Can't say that I have. Well, when you see him, punch him for me, will you? Bloody little man's late with my cocaine. I had a man try to propose to one of the girls. Got nearly all the way through it, thought his wife busted in the door. Grabbed him by the heel. My God! What, what is wrong with all of you? You're, you're, you're dull! Dull, dull, dull! I bet you all vote! Oh, I bet you all care! Oh, there's nothing worse than caring. Caring hurts! I don't want to hurt. I want to drink and inject cocaine. Devour virgins whole. Mm -hmm. Usual sort of stuff. Renee has taken up with another house girl. Hungry? Thirsty? Only the finest whatever you'll fancy. about giving us the vote. Let me be very clear, gentlemen. I do not want the bloody vote. I want to be a queen. Voting is demeaning. It's unnatural. What's wrong with this country? Too many bloody rights and given to entirely the wrong people. We need another war. Oh, don't be shocked. What are you virgins? Give me a break. drunk I'm an intellectual that's the thing darling we intellectuals have to drink we've got a terribly difficult job just being clever like this is so very hard it's exhausting why just the other day I was so tired of just being brilliant like this I drank all day. me to cast no aspersions, but uh, the Chinese have got some strange smelling coming out from that chop suey restaurant. Well, I guess you can't be surprised a time like this, you encounter some strange sights, strange smells. Que voulez-vous? C'est la vie? Yeah, that's that, I suppose.
guys with me and got I'm bored. I need some cocaine. One of the mirrors. When Gosling called him, the man said it was medical. The necessity. new girl broke one of the salad plates. Yes, indeed. Now we've got to send to Limoges to complete the service. Oh, if we only could send her too. Yes, indeed. Oh, Watch cool. yourself. Say Careful. Excuse me. Careful. Good morning, sir. I had a man come in here the other day tell me by 1920 there'll be a telephone in the home of every American. You believe that? Oh, c'est scandaleux. Would you believe le bonjour? a young man... Mais quelle délicieuse surprise! Oh, what's wrong with you? What a girl have to do to get drunk around here? Some people are trying to enjoy the drinks. Bonjour. I enjoy one. If someone would fill my bloody glass. That's no lie. Madam. <laughs> nice to see you again, cowboy. And you, Miss, um... Lillian Powell. I used to be quite well known. Now I'm just the bloody town drunk. Who knew you? <laughs> the worst types, darling. Intellectuals. In other words, men without balls. Hermaphrodites, as my mother would call them. Eunuchs, as my father liked to say. Geldings. I was popular with geldings, darling. Now even the balls hate me. I'm a fat old mess. You hear they caught one of the laborers stealing wine from the church? As my nana used to say, nothing new under the sun. I wouldn't give for the love of a good woman. I'd give up booze and opium and that little toy I had sent from Paris. Oh, don't be shocked. None of you, not even you, Tom. Oh, do any of you know about Tom? <laughs> he was a priest. Where is bloody Tom? Tom, where in the blazes are you? Little Catamite was a priest. Until he got defrocked. <laughs> it was an outrage. I'll tell you all about it. I know it's not true, darling. <sighs> Tom. Tommy! Tom, forgive old Lillian. I'm such a bad boy, I really am. Oh, Tom. He's sulking with me again. I think someone's pissed in his porridge. <laughs> That's what my nanny used to say. Silly old scotch hag smelled of old fish. Like... God, she's dead. Can I get another bloody drink? I'm parched! All those steamboats from up north that keep catching fire, they're all insured by the same they're working on a building in New York over ten stories. <laughs> Who lives in such a thing? Life is oh. very hard. I must stop working quite so much. Learn to relax. I'm quite withered by stress. Careful there. Bien. Good evening. Yeah. You know, they are saying the city's going to rise too much after. Because Sorry, it's lady. Like sent to you hear they caught one of the laborers stealing Sorry wine? about the obnoxious drunk hey, over there. I'm looking. hoping she'll leave soon. 
Uh, what can I do for you? Oh, je crois que j'ai trop drink. Vraiment. 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 Prime rib, please. Bonsoir, monsieur. Not bad, huh? Have you ever played this before, friend? Evening, sir. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Can I get some of what she's having? Oh, How are you boys all feeling? I saw men with pistols at the club last night. Terrifying. Hmm, I see. It can't be denied. Got plans? Hello? Morning! Can someone bring me something to eat? Bonjour, monsieur. Something light and refreshing, like cocaine. Bonjour, Monsieur. Toast. Side of despair. Did you hear about the preacher? Giving sermon drunk as a skunk. Perched his demons all over the good book. Good morning, ma'am. Just what exactly are we doing alive? It's a mystery to me. No mistake. Have you got any ideas, big man? No, not really. Well, at least you're honest. All my life I've been surrounded by morons claiming to know the answer to that question. Liars. Bloody lot. Narcissi, all of them. It's the great American sickness, vanity. I'm very drunk. Thinking of another night? Got a room made fresh for you. Where is that little shit? Tommy, darling, where are you? service in a Ugandan slot house. Tom! Oh, are you talking to me? Because my name isn't Tom. Are you well? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Parfait. Eh bien. Well, well. Does anyone have a woman to spare? Nice little housewife I could devour. Jimmy? Jimmy, are you still here? I bet he's off having his dress mended. <laughs> Sniveling little leech. Or reprobate. He reminds me of my husband. Tell any of you fools about David? Oh, a god, it's a brilliant man. But there wasn't a busboy or a bellhop from here to Timbuktu he didn't seduce. Princes, paupers, office clerks, David had them all. No wonder his symphony was laughed at. He wrote a long section for the timpani, all because he was in love with the percussionist. You are such a shit to us mortals. <sighs> if our ancestors could see us now. 
Maybe you've had enough living. Enough? Enough? If enough is a ten, I'm at a two now, so settle in for the ride. By 1920, there'll be a telephone in the home of every American. You believe that? Dead, I suppose. These street kids tried to pick my pocket again on my way home last night. So that means you're open? Mm. This world. <laughs> what kind of a sick fellow thought it up? Answer me that, any of you? Probably a eunuch, judging by the people he lets do well. And he hated women, <laughs> judging by what fate has handed to me. But look at me! I'm an old mess! Que voulez-vous? C'est la vie? I'm in. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? Yes, that's the way I Bonjour. I apologize for the noise, sir. She's, uh, had one too many. Hey, what's your pleasure? You arrange a bath, I need a wash. I'll have the girls make the place. have just dried up. I mean, so rude. That's the way of the world. The guy before I asked Sally to marry. The girl said no. <laughs> Smart girl, Sally. Yes, indeed. Good morning to you. Good morning, mister. Can I get some assistance in here, please? Good choice. Good choice. Hmm. Ain't a woman here do a better job than me. Let me know if it's too warm. Ain't often I get a hot bath and a roof over my head. That's so. My dog, Copper, used to take baths with me when he was alive. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, then. <sighs> you gotta treat yourself sometimes, I reckon. Yes, certainly. You know, naked small talk isn't as easy as you might think. Never heard that before. Number of times I nearly died the past few weeks, you wouldn't believe. Hmm. You've got my sympathies. Take care of yourself, all right? Bonjour. It's happened before. 